Hey guys, glad you're back. I uh, hope you enjoyed the first part of my room tour. Um, this is going to be my second part. I'm going to cover um, a lot of my box systems, my portables, and just some random other games that I have. So stay tuned. Here's some box systems. These are uh, all my Nintendo systems, at least, you know, the older ones. So we let's start off, we got the Super Nintendo. This is the... This is the small version, the one that came with Zelda. Get that back in there. We've got... Actually, I'm going to go from this side, because apparently they're all facing this way. Just an original set. This is the... Mario set, which comes with a two-pack of Mario Brothers and All-Stars in one cartridge. This is my Killer Instinct set. Oh, uh, there's that there. Okay. And Random Dreamcast. There's my Black Dreamcast set. And then uh, GameCube set comes with uh, the bonus controller and Mario 7. Or Mario Party 7, sorry. And let's get to the last two Super Nintendo systems that I got here. Got the Donkey Kong set. And this one is very rare. I've only ever seen this twice. And my buddy Retro Remix Nation has the box only for this. Again, that's the only second box I've seen, you know, not online. And I've tried to figure out where this came from. Obviously, they sold it at Walmart or Kmart's. But um, I don't remember seeing it before. This is the Super Game Boy set. All right, NES stuff. We got the mini control deck, top loader. And we got regular control deck. And challenge set comes with Mario, and I've got the original Mario in there. It actually says challenge set on the wrapper of the game. Regular control deck again, the red band, newer systems. Sports set, four controllers. Uh, you get the special two pack sports game, which is actually really easy to come by. And you get the uh, four score, or the satellite, not the four score. Okay, let's go down here. Got the action set, the last action set that they made. Here is the second action set they made when they changed the gun color to orange. Safety reason, you know, if you go to buy a squirt gun or any kind of gun nowadays, it's going to have some kind of orange or red tip. So that's kind of the idea. This is the first action set with the gray gun, as you can see. There's that one. Some random frames here. I'm going to hang these up at some point. This, uh, this is straight from Nintendo. It has a code on the back for Link Between Worlds. I used it and I decided to keep the, uh, the cardboard it came on just to frame it because, you know, I'm a geek like that. Capcom 30th Anniversary. This was, this paper they gave me is directly from Capcom. So, frame that up too. And a Game Boy. That's my Game Boy. And here... is my deluxe set. It's the second deluxe set, and the, the way you can figure that out is this whole portion here, this picture, won't even be there. It'll just be black. And that's the last one I need. I don't actually have that one. That was the one that was sold on the East Coast when they were, when the Nintendo first came out in 85. That one is hard to come by. Um, you see them out there, you see them online, but you know, they're gonna cost you around 450. And last but not least, this is the power set. It comes with the power pad. It's a power pad, and you get the special three pack of games. It comes with Mario Duck Hunt and World Class Track Meet. Alright, guys, here is where I keep my 
portable um, Nintendo branded stuff. So, if you can see back there, but I've got some Game Boy Colors. I've got that's the that's the Glacier. I don't think it was no that no the Glacier was the Advance. That's up there. Sorry, Glacier Advance got the Black Toys R Us exclusive Advance. Back there is the clear purple. There's the turquoise. This is a special one here. I'll take it out. This is the Tommy Hilfiger one. Actually, it has a Tommy Hilfiger uh, thing on the system. And here is one of my more rare ones. It's the Pokemon yellow one. It has the game in it. It also has that watch in it. It's all brand new, never been used. If you've seen my videos, you'll see the video where I actually got that from a friend. Uh, here's the gold SP with Mario 3. And here's my original blue SP. And then there's the 25th anniversary uh, DSi XL. Uh, Link controller came with Skyward Sword. Uh, we got the e-reader bundle Game Boy Advance system. And actually, I went to a GameCube party before the GameCube was out. It was in Phoenix. Uh, and they had these all over the table, so I grabbed a couple of them. You just build a cube out of it. It's just something you could do while you were there. They let you test the games. Uh, they had beverages, a bunch of cool stuff. So that was kind of cool. I found that in a box of stuff. It had been a while, obviously. You know how long ago the GameCube came out. Got a silver pocket. I got this clear pocket. It was a Toys R Us exclusive. I found this... Actually, on my second video ever um, is when I found this. Found that at a pawn shop for, I believe, 30 bucks, and it's worth about 90. I got this from a friend years ago for free. This is the other Pokemon system. There was a yellow one, and then there was this one. Got the 2DS uh, Special Edition Peach version. All right, and here's the second shelf. Um, we got the... 3DS XL. Uh, there's actually no system in this box. I got this from a buddy of mine for free. So if I ever run across uh, the blue uh, 3D XL, I will have it complete in the box. So I just have that. Um, it's besides the system, everything else is in there. Then we got the small 3DS new systems. We got the Pokemon uh, red and blue version, Super Mario Land, Animal Crossing Home Designer, which was the first one to come out of those three. And here is the new XLs. This is the Hyrule Edition. Or no, wait a minute. Majora's Mask Edition. Hyrule Edition. Monster Hunter Generations Edition. What's that one? What is that one again? Oh yeah, that's the new Pokemon one. And we got the Galaxy Style. We have the Fire Emblem Fates one. And then over here, we got this one here. This is an original DS, a uh, special red with gray bottom, Mario Kart edition. And then we got the Zelda edition. This actually, if I'm right, this, yeah, there's no barcode. This came inside of a bigger box, which I, I have it somewhere. I don't know where it's at, but uh, I put everything back in there. So if I ever find that box, I'll have it complete, complete. There's that. All right, we got the Turquoise Original DS. Uh, fairly uncommon compared to the silver and the blue. And there's my blue one, that's the second one. I owned the uh, silver one first. I ended up giving that to my brother for a present and then I bought the blue one. Oh, blue one just looked nicer to me. And then we have the classic Nintendo NES style uh, Game Boy Advance SP really cool system all right and then we have the pokemon black dsi we have the shiny orange which is in pristine condition and i i almost don't like touching it because it gets fingerprints on it this came with uh it's one of the two mario kart or mario party bundles that came out there was a green one as well which i'm looking for i've seen it before but most of the ones i find are trashed this one's like brand new so i want to you know i don't care if I find it with the box, great. That'd be cool to put in the collection, but I actually wouldn't mind just having a loose one like this. And a couple other rare DS's. DS Lite uh, Baby Blue. 
and the Lime Green. Both in really good condition, complete, minus the box. I mean, they've, they've got their front covers where you can play your Game Boy Advance games. They've got the correct pen in them. Uh, found that one at a GameStop for a decent price. And I actually found them both at GameStop, which is funny. I found one in, in my town. I found one down in uh, Scottsdale. And the last shelf. Um, got the Fire Emblem 3DS. Got the Luigi's Mansion. And the thing that's different about this one, this one's a darker blue. I think it's cobalt blue. Yeah, it's co uh, cobalt blue. And it's the only way you could get it was with this Luigi's Mansion edition. All right, down here, we have the Animal Crossing XL. These are my XLs, by the way, for the uh, 3DSs. We got the Zelda XL. That's a really nice looking system. And here, real fast, these are 2DSs. There is the clear blue and the clear red one, which are both actually fairly hard to come by. And if you saw in an earlier video of mine, I found this at a Target clearance because they probably didn't realize it was still there. Probably had it stuck behind one of their other systems. So I got there at the right time, got it for like 50 bucks. All right, we got the Pikachu edition, first special edition to come out. Uh, I picked up, I picked that up the day it came out. Both the Smash Brothers editions. Uh, both the red and blue Pokemon editions. Got the Yoshi, the Mickey edition, which was at Walmart. Uh, the Persona Q edition, the NES Retro edition, and the Mario 2. Get this out there, this one. I don't know if this was an exclusive, but I could only find it at Walmart. So there's that one. Get this back in there in the right way. And then I got this random Guitar Hero. That's not a sticker. That actually came like that. Guitar Hero DS. DS Lite. And then I got the red. This is the um, Anniversary Edition one. But I don't have the right cover for it. Which is a gold plate. Which I've been trying to find just the plate so I could complete this. Uh, no luck yet. But I've been looking for it. And then we got these Zelda pins. For Majora's Mask. There were giveaways if you uh, pre-ordered the game, and they're they're fairly nice. They're they're pretty thick, so I've got that one. And I've got one here I've never opened. So that's that. We'll start up top here. Uh, we got the Genesis Power Base uh, Power Base Converter, so you can play your uh, Master System games on your Genesis. We have the first Genesis system that came out that uh, came with Altered Beast. This was a fan picture. Actually, was a, this was a friend of mine's girlfriend drew this for me. And uh, uh, you may have seen it in a previous video that I showed this off. Uh, supposed to be me with Mario. So that was really cool. Put that down there. And then we have the Streets of Rage 2 Genesis bundle. This is a link clock that I need to put up somewhere at some point. There's the NES guidebook from Pat the NES Punk. That is the game. Uh oh. That's the game that goes in this box. All right, here's my complete Vic 20. Really good shape. Commodore 64. This picture from a local artist who has his own store in downtown. And uh, he's got a bigger version of the photo, but it's really expensive. <clears throat> All right, and so behind that, and something fell. And I will keep that in the video because it's kind of funny. Ugh. Game Gear. So there's a Game Gear. I don't think the console's in there. I think the console is in that black bag right there. All right, here's ColecoVision Expansion 2. Uh, comes with the turbo game. Uh, gets you a steering wheel and a gas pedal. Got my Bentley. This is the Bentley Apong system. Actually, no, I don't. I never played it. It's it's a Pong system made by a company called Bentley. And two wireless controllers. These are brand new. I got these a long time ago. I paid like twelve bucks for them. This is for the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. All right, let's go below. All right, let's move this random stuff out the way. Oh, another three DS that wouldn't fit in there. This is my three DS Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time Edition. Got this cool from Capcom. 
box here. It comes with speakers. Um, like little speakers you can put together, little box speaker box that you can plug into your uh, iPod or whatnot. All right, and then what is the randomness up here? Oh, a Primal Rage Strat Guide with CS Tape together. Uh, these came out of a game, two Game Pro magazines, if I'm right. And it's just just a Strat Guide for all the all the characters in the game. See, yeah, there's the second part. I just taped them together because I was really hardcore into this game when it came out uh, in the arcades. So this was a really cool thing that Game Pro had put out. Got that. My Bravely Second, even. <laughs> I know this is all more retro stuff, but I didn't want anything to happen to this. This is the uh, Layer Collector's Edition for Bradley Second. System Changer for the Intellivision. Uh, this allows you to play your Atari 2600 games on the Intellivision. Uh, the Master Component. This is just an Intellivision 2. Um, so there it is, the Intellivision 2. Uh, this is pretty good condition. I don't know if this one has ever been used. Uh, I obviously hooked it up, made sure it worked, but uh, before that, it looks pretty clean. The Atari 2600 Vader Edition, it's all black. Uh, Channel F, this is the... Thing is, that, uh, Fairchild put out three, uh, Channel F three times, three different waves, pretty much. This is the second wave. And this was the third printing of the system, right there. And there was also a first one, which I do not have. It's fairly hard to get one with a decent box. So, and they're, they're channel Fs are expensive. So if I come across one in the wild, uh, I'll probably pick it up if I get it at a decent, decent price. ColecoVision, everybody knows ColecoVision. All right, and I got drawers, drawers full of stuff. You see, I got a bunch of uh, Saturn games here, including Resident Evil. Um, What's cool about that one is when you beat the game, you unlock another mode, and I can't remember what it's called, that mode, but it pretty much allows you to play through sections of the game, and you have to go through specific rooms with X amount of ammo, and when you get through it, you end up in a save room, and you can restock or whatnot, and you do it again, and it's random rooms, and eventually you'll, you know, you'll go up against Tyrant or whatnot, and just... You only get what's given to you in these save rooms, so it's a pretty cool uh, kind of action-y version of it. We got Mega Man X for uh, Creature Shock, and then some uh, Sega CD games there. Robo Alest, Echo the Dolphin Terminator, some more stuff back there. Uh, let's get on top here. Oh, there's my other Bravely. That's for the first Bravely game. Um, again, I don't want anything to happen to it. I really like the Bravely games. Uh, random PSP stuff. Just, you know, more box stuff I didn't want to get crushed. Alright. Second drawer. More set. This is just stuff I found when I was taking apart the game section of my living room. And I found some more, uh, you know, Sega CD games. Uh, found some more. An additional copy of Resident Evil because this one here, if I'm right, has a scratch on the on top of the disc, which I didn't realize until I started playing it, and it wouldn't get past the mine level. It just stopped, and yeah, I figured it out, and I had to get another one. So that's why that is, that's why I have two. Can't really sell it. Uh, Alone in the Dark. Uh, some All right, oh, Nintendo Quest, I picked that up when I was at the Game On Expo, a random PSP game, I don't know why that's in there. Sega Game Gear games, uh, PSPs. I got a bunch of PSPs. Um, let's see if I can get through them real quickly here. This is the Pearl White. All right, and here is my Metal Gear Green system, my Madden Blue, my God of War 3000 Edition, my God of War 2000 Edition, Kratos on the back, my Invisimals. Electric Blue, I believe it's called, that or Lightning Blue edition. Um, oh, and then a Silver 2000 edition. And then here, got my Star Wars. There on the back, 2000 edition. And then back here, this is my Go. It's like brand new. Um, I actually used to be a store manager 
of a Holly, our local Hollywood video. And when the system, or when the uh, company went under, uh, they started liquidating a bunch of stuff. And on the final day, everything went to 10 cents a piece. And I got that brand new for 10 cents, along with a couple uh, DSs. And actually, that Zelda um, DS Lite, that was 10 cents. So I got a really smoking deal, but I was also losing my job. So I didn't feel too bad you know, about that. Oh, there's Atari Lynx demo cartridge. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what this was for. I'm assuming it went into like one of those in-store play deals. Next drawer, got the grape controller, green controller and the turquoise controller. We got a bunch of ColecoVision games here. That whole side's ColecoVision. Cassette tape from the Nintendo Quest. I had to get it on cassette because why not? It's cassette. They don't make cassettes. And we got some APF games loose there. Uh, these are more oh, this stuff. Those are more uh, ColecoVision games. And we have a Game Boy Advance purple. Game Boy SP. This is actually my wife's SP. Um, and what's nice about it, it is a 101. So it's got the better, brighter screen. Uh, yeah, this actually goes into my Pokemon Stadium box. I gotta put that in there. And then, on this side's all Atari 7800 games, top to bottom. So, 7800, 7800 I got when it came out. My uh, grandma had actually bought that for me. And what was cool about it is backwards compatible with the 2600 games. So, I already had a huge amount of 2600 games so I could play them on there as long as, you know, as as well as uh, the 7800 games. This is just a mishmash. I don't need to show you that. Oh, there we go. Hey, we got an orange system. And the controller wasn't in there, so it's got to be here somewhere. Um, turquoise, the grape, a random uh, GameCube, Pokemon controller. I do have the Pokemon system. I can't remember if it's in here or not quite yet because I'm still going through stuff. Another drawer full of stuff. Commodore games right here. Just a grip of Commodore games uh, for the VIC-20. Uh, TI-99. Yeah, those are all TI-99 games right there. Uh, Atari 2600 games made by Intellivision. Television games right there, all through there. And those are Atari uh, 400, 800 games. We got the Duel double-sided with the Chuck Norris Atari game. Uh, and 1500 games all through the bottom. So they're just Atari 1500 games. Uh, probably the worst Atari made as far as the peripheral.